The goal always is to connect to the neighborhood in kind of a seamless way. And, and the model there is Rockefeller Center, the way in which the grid just runs through the project, I think is critical to the success of that project. Um, and how the buildings meet the grid and meet the streets. Uh, the challenge here, though, is that the rail yards create, uh, you know, create an elevation that we have, to, we have to get up over the yards. So we can't connect at every single level with the neighborhood. We can only connect at certain points. But the beauty of it is we have a continuous connection with 11th Avenue, so that's great. That means the east side and the west side just flow across the street, and you're not aware that there's yards underneath. We have a continuous connection on 33rd Street, which is equally important because that takes you straight into Hudson Boulevard and Hudson Boulevard Park and the subway, and that's great. To the north, we're connected to the street grid, and to the south, we're connected to the High Line. And so that's kind of nice because we're, we'll be the only place where you can get on the High Line without having to climb up. 